Could a highway be built across the ocean, creating a physical link between America and Eurasia? Building a bridge or tunnel across the thin passage of water separating Russia and Alaska would be an undertaking of monumental proportions. There have been talks for years related to this construction, but it has always been dismissed due to its logistical complications. However, with Russia and China now considering the project, it may become a reality. Join us today as we explore this mega project and all the incredible details that make the idea so fascinating. Beringia, the landmass linking North America and Asia, existed 11,000 years ago. But the route didn't last forever due to the rising sea levels. The Beringia floods created a new geographic feature that we still live with today that's known as the Bering Strait. This shallow and narrow body of water serves as the boundary between the two once connected continents. Despite this, people have still journeyed across the strait during winter, using dog sleds, skis, and sometimes even their own two feet. China and Russia have proposed to build a billion-dollar tunnel across the Bering Strait after exploring its ideal geographic situation. This plan would be a remarkable feat of engineering, connecting the continents of Earth with the longest tunnel in the world. The Bering Strait is only 83 kilometers wide and has a maximum depth of only 50 meters with two large islands directly in the middle of it. The new Bering Strait crossing is anticipated to improve trade and cooperation between Russia, China, and the U.S. by providing a physical link and further boosting relations between the three countries. Although many people have questioned whether this proposal is achievable, engineers say it is actually very feasible. There is no reason why a land connection at the Bering Strait couldn't be built. The idea of constructing a link across the Bering Strait was first introduced in 1892, when American structural engineer Joseph Strauss created the first bridge proposal. His proposal was presented to the Russian Empire, but it was rejected. In 1904, a group of American railroad magnates introduced the first tunnel design. A year later, Russian Tsar Nicholas II approved the project. However, officials debated the project for some time before finally turning it down in 1907. Despite the many tumultuous events earlier, the concept was cast aside until it was reintroduced in 1958 by Chinese-American structural engineer Tung Yin Lin. He suggested an 85 kilometers long bridge across the ocean, which is 30 kilometers longer than the current record holder, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. Lin hoped the connection would foster commerce and understanding between the people of China and Russia. Unfortunately, the concept still had complexities and in a few years followed by Lin's death in 2003, this proposal faded away completely. Before we continue, if you would like to learn more about billion dollar construction projects around the world, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos. In 2007, Russia put forward the TKM link also known as the Intercontinental Link, a 6,000 kilometer long rail and oil link connecting the areas Komsomolsk Amur and Yakutsk in Russia with Alaska. This would include a 103 kilometer long tunnel across the Bering Strait with ventilation shafts on the Diomedes Islands. If completed, this tunnel will be more than twice as long as the underwater section of the Channel Tunnel between the UK and France. In 2008, Vladimir Putin, then Prime Minister of Russia, approved this TKM link. Following this, the Russian government approved the project in 2011. In 2014, Chinese transportation experts announced their own 21st century concept around this idea. They proposed a 10,000 kilometers long high-speed rail line connecting northeast China to the United States including an undersea tunnel across the Bering Strait. This entire project with its various manifestations, which China and Russia is coordinating with the US and Canada, would cost between 65 to 105 billion dollars and take 10 to 15 years to complete. Japan and Korea have also expressed interest in the project, with Japanese companies offering to drill the tunnel for 60 million dollars a kilometer. 
However, neither country has advanced its proposal past the conceptual stage up to date. If a bridge or tunnel were to be built across the Bering Strait, engineers would face a multitude of challenges despite the proven feasibility of the construction. Although the region has no icebergs, it does contain ice flows as a result of thin sheets of floating ice. These flows could produce forces up to 44 mega newtons on a bridge pier, posing a major structural challenge. Moreover, the bridge's exposed steel would become brittle with the region's cold temperatures. To solve this, engineers would likely have to cover the whole structure with concrete. The region surrounding Bering Street is also quite underdeveloped. On the Russian side, there are no railways for 3,200 kilometers, and the nearest highway, the Inadir Highway, which is currently under construction, is still over 400 kilometers away. On the American side, there are no railways or highways for nearly 1,000 kilometers. Even still, the railway in Alaska does not connect to the lower 48 states. Because of this, massive railways would need to be built on each side. This lack of infrastructure would create significant logistical problems in getting workers and materials to the tunnel construction site and would ultimately delay the project and significantly increase costs. The tunnel would cost only about $12 billion and the rest of the massive investment would go towards constructing an entire transport system. On top of these concerns, the different rail track gauges used by the US and Russia could cause potential logistics issues when goods need to be transferred. Also, gaining US support is problematic because their stance on the project is yet uncertain. Even if the tunnel and rail line were built, it would still be faster to fly by airplane between the US and Asia. For this reason, the tunnel would mostly be used for freight. A tunnel between Asia and North America would provide a safer, cheaper, and faster way to transport freight between the two continents. This would physically link North and South America to the Old World, and provide a boost to the economy on both sides of the tunnel. According to TKM World Link, if built, the tunnel will contain a high-speed railway, highway, and pipelines, as well as power and fiber optic cables. A tunnel of this scope connecting Russia and Alaska would have significant economic benefits for both regions, integrating them more closely into the global economy. This would be a major infrastructure project with huge potential rewards for all involved. Also, this tunnel could play an important role in establishing a global renewable energy transmission corridor, carrying wind and tidal power across long distances as well. Though ample reserves of coal, natural gas, and minerals in Alaska and Siberia have yet to be fully tapped, it'll provide a tremendous opportunity for resource-rich countries to increase their production and exports. The Russian Far East and North America could save up to $20 billion a year in electricity costs through the use of potentially available hydroelectric power using these resources. For these reasons, the Bering Strait project has the potential to provide a vital step in bringing the world together, to creating a future beyond a collection of separate nations where people and cultures cooperate. This project definitely has the potential to usher in a new era of international cooperation and understanding. But will it actually be completed someday? Only time will tell. What are your views on this mega project? Leave a comment below and let us know. Thanks for watching and see you again soon with another video.